Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, we're going to show you how to create your own animated lower third and use it with your ATEM switcher for live video to make it look a lot more professional. So let's go. folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member by clicking one of the links down below. Now I have a very popular video here that I'll tag up here that talks about how to use the animated lower third plugin um, that was made for OBS. That is awesome, but sometimes you want to have your own type of style and make a different lower third that's not a canned one that's prov provided through that app. Um, so I want to walk you through the concepts and the principles that you need to make one. So again, there are tons of other ways you can do this, but I want you to actually see the principles of it and hopefully put your own flair on it once I give you some di direction with it. Um, now, I will tag my original video up here on how to put um, lower thirds or scripture or lyrics over top of live video. The principle of that is the same. Now, let me set this up right now. I am setting this up for an ATEM switcher to do. I am going to be using some form of presentation software to present this. But honestly, you just need a player to play this stuff. Um, I like presentation software because we can put a pause at the end if we need to. But I will try and highlight all those things. If there are any other questions that you have, please leave them down below. I try to get to every single comment as best as I possibly can. So I'm just going to take you through how I would do this. All right. So we're going to start with the free version first with DaVinci Resolve. And then we're going to move up to After Effects and then let them show you how it works in principle. So this will be a long video. I will have timestamps so you can jump and replay stuff if you need more assistance. So let's cut over to my desktop here and we're going to get started in DaVinci Resolve. All right, we're here and let's just make a new project here. I'll say um, lower thirds. So let's go over here to edit. Um, I like DaVinci Resolve because it gives you some ideas. Like I said, you can be as creative with this as you want, but let's go ahead and go to our effects. We're going to go to titles and we're going to pick a lower third. Let's, let's go with this um, clean and simple here. And let's move our timeline cursor over here so we can see what this looks like. So let's say we're going to come up here and put our church here and I'll just use my typical here of prototype church so you can replace that um, or honestly I would say use your digital handle um, because sometimes some of these if you do the whole name sometimes you don't have enough space for that so let's just do um, actually mine will actually fit here and then or you can put a title there or pastor minister evangelist whatever that you want here and I would do um, I don't know. Might as well just use my name. Something like that. All right. So if we go ahead and it should have rendered, we can just play this out and boom, that's it. And it actually does a fade at the end. So what I want to do is drag this out and I want this whole thing to be 15 seconds. Now, hopefully in DaVinci Resolve, it normally will edit this whole thing out and drag it out. Um, certain titles don't allow you to do that here in DaVinci Resolve for whatever reason. Um, but there's always a way that you can manipulate that. So let's go ahead and play it again. Let's make sure it stays there in its entirety. All right, awesome. And then... It should fade out. There we go. Very simple. Now, what I'm going to do is move this up to my second timeline, and I need a solid color in the background. This is how we're going to remove a lot of stuff, or you can do the alpha channel. I don't want to do that. I want to make it as simple as possible. So 
We're going to add a solid color behind here for the same length of time. And I am going to use the classic green here. And we're going to do the hex code. That would be FF for solid green. Boom. Now, the other benefit of this is I am um, not using any black. Um, it, you know, it, it kind of makes stuff a little bit difficult when you try to add that stuff in. But let's see. I think we should be fine with this. And actually, if I'm using the ATEM, black may work as well. But let's stick with the green for right now. Now, I'm going to place this in the right position for my lower third as well, too. So I want my lower third right about here. All right. And let's shrink it just a little bit and something right here. All right. Really simple. Now, let's go ahead and render this out. And you can make it whatever way you want to. And I'll just say AJ lower third. All right, let's render that out real quick. Shouldn't take very long at all. Yep, about five seconds. Cool. So now let's go ahead and close this out. I'm back here on my desktop. Let's go ahead and open up. I already have my ATEM software up. And let's open up Presenter. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to add that media that we just made in here. Let's go to the drive I rendered that at. And there it is right there. And like I said, there are two ways you could do this. And maybe I should go in and render it the other way as well, too. Let's go ahead and do that. So we have a solid color. Um, so... If you went with OBS or VMix, it'll work with that one. But let's make another one here with a solid black background. And we can just simply turn that layer off and let's render it again. Say the same thing, just say it's black. All right, that one took longer. Don't know why, but oh well. So we got both. So let's add the other one as well, too. All right, so what we're going to do is come over here to our queue list and let's make a new one. And we'll say this is, I don't know, animated lower third. All right, so what we're going to do is just add our media here which is actually going to be the green that we just did. So if I turn my monitor on, let's configure them, make sure we're connected to something. There we go. We got the right screen. All right. So as you can see, I cut over. You see that's playing through. Yay. That works perfectly fine. Um, and let's add another one as well. And let's make sure we have the other one here. And that's the solid black. Now, at least in presenter, I don't want to loop this. I want it to just play once and be done. So let's come back. Let's come back over here and turn the loop off on the original two. All right. So we just have this video playing. We have it at length. And it's no loop. It fades in, fades out. All right. So we got that. So now if we go over to our ATEM software that we have on this other screen here, what we need to do is go to our DSK, which is the same way how we did it before. We're going to point that to the right monitor here. So that is going to be my downstream key. And instead of media player, I am going to pick my right monitor and right monitor. All right. So now I'm going to play, pick this again to make sure it comes up fine. So I'm going to pause this right now and let's go ahead and switch back to my main camera. 
And we should just be able to bring up the DSK. Let's see what shows up. You see a whole lot of green, all right? So this is where we would actually need to do kind of like a chroma key on this. But let's switch to the other one. Let's see first. Let's go to the, the black one, and let's pause that. And now let's bring that one up. See, it does it automatically. So black, transparent. So now if we play it here, there we go. You animated stuff right there. Um, I like the presentation software because my mindset is you have presentation software for a reason. It presents whatever. That also means presenting lower thirds. Now, especially if you have the A10 Mini, it cannot play video unless it's coming from a source. So, again, that's really cool, especially since we've removed the loop. Now, we just got to come in here and play this, put it in your timeline. Boom. There you go. Now, the same thing works with um, After Effects. So let's close this out and let's go ahead and open up After Effects. And I'm gonna see if I can find a simple one to do because um, I don't want this to be too complicated. But like I said, you can be as creative with this as you want. Um, especially in DaVinci Resolve, you can make your um, logo and all this other fancy stuff if you want to. And I like DaVinci Resolve just because, I mean, you can get it for free or you can do something like this and go to after effects and get it from like video hive or something like that um in vato elements and get a lower third that are already pre-made and you just got to change the text and that's what i'm going to do in here so let's open up this lower third that i got from video hive and let's just pick this one because this is the first one that showed up and I want to get the right resolution. Let's go with, uh, I might as well go with 4K. It doesn't hurt. And we're going to go with this first one here. All right. So we have to find, what lower third was that? That was lower third number two. Look at our titles over here, lower third number two to change our text. All right, so we're going to type our name here, AJ Holmes. Go to our text, and we're just going to say E-Missionary, something like that. All right, so I could come in here, change the colors and all this other stuff, but I'm not going to do that because we're just going to go for simplicity. Now, be mindful of this because we're going to make this into a, a video. So we want to make sure we have a solid black background for the ATEM, makes it work. The same thing can work in OBS and other software. Personally, I like the chroma key approach for the other one, and I think I will add that on here as well too. So now that we got this, let's go ahead and send this to my encoder. All right, so we'll render it here as AJAE, so that way we know it's this one. And let's render that out real quick. It's a nice animation here. Really cool. So it gives it a second. And then it animates out. And our wonder, wonderful After Effects error. So anyway, we got it done. Let's just save that. All right, so now let's go back to After Effects. I mean, the After Effects presenter. Let's go to our media. And we're going to import another one. There we go. And this one needs to be converted. So there we go. Awesome. So now let's make one more cue, and we're gonna, now going to pick this animated one. 
Now, I like the Pro Presenter does the same thing. You can slow down the speed if you want. So I'm going to slow this down yeah, by 0.6. So it can last a little bit longer. So now let's go ahead and turn our display back on. We're going to launch that lower third. And we got it playing here. So let's rewind it. Let's turn on our DSK. Now let's play it. Boom. There you go. Very nice. Very simple. So again, we're using the same steps that we did before. And again, this stays here for a minute um, and then it will fade out. Be mindful of what colors that you pick, um, especially if you're doing this approach. You want to make sure that the background is completely black and there's no black in your design in any way, shape or form. Because if you're using the DSK with the ATEM, it erases the black and you don't want that because you start getting some crazy stuff like that. So hopefully for the folks that asked, that will help you out there. Um, I have links to the other stuff. And if you're interested in that theme that I got, again, you need After Effects. The real tip is sign up for After Effects for a 14 day trial. I think it's a month or something like that. You can make all the templates that you need and then cancel. Just um, be mindful of that. So you can make out for your whole choirs, all your ministry staff, anybody else like that. And you can do this this way through After Effects if you like the animated one. Or if you want some more detail, let me know, and I'll try and design something completely in DaVinci Resolve and follow the same principles. So hopefully that helps you. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. I want to thank the patrons and the YouTube members for making this video possible. Their names are on the screen right now, and YouTube can become a patron for as little as $1 a month, or you can become a YouTube member by clicking the join button down below. No matter which way you pick, folks, you are helping us train media ministries all over the world. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ, and we will see you on the next video. Later.